Hi, Damo. Dad's looking for you. What about? He didn't say. I'm running late already. I said you weren't home from school yet. Thanks. But you are now. Dad! Damon! Allie's home! Shh! She's so gonna get it. Whoa, Allie. Not so fast. Uh, Dad, can this wait till later? Whatever it is, I'm We need to talk now. We just got the bill for your mobile phone. I know, I might have made a few extra calls this month. $153. What? And 25 cents. No way, it can't be. Way to go, Ali. I always knew you had a big mouth. I think I've got some jobs to do. I'm so sorry, Dad. I don't know how this could have happened. Oh, I do. You're using that phone far too much. But I needed to talk to my friends. We can't afford another bill like that. So unless you can find a way to cut down on your calls... I'm sorry, darling, we're gonna have to take the phone away. Why did I say yes? A 30-minute talk about my time in Singapore. Complete with computer presentation? You'll be fine. It's no big deal. <laughs> yes, it is. It's our project week. Our geography class is doing city states and it asked me to do a talk about Singapore on Friday after school so all the classes and teachers can come. Look on the bright side. They must think you're pretty good to even ask you. And if I blow it, I'll be a complete loser. That's what I like about you, the power of positive thinking. <laughs> there you are, Ali. What kept you? I mean, the end of the world as we know it. How did you hear about my presentation? What? I mean, my parents just got my phone bill. I think my dad's gonna take my phone away. Without my phone, all this is over. No more Hamburg, no more Singapore, no more chat room and no more dancing. But can you just pay for it yourself? Yeah, in theory, but not on my pocket money. What about a job? Doing what? That's the downside of living on a farm. All my spare time's taken up helping mum and dad. Hello, dad. What? Now? Okay, okay. I'll go and see ya. Bye. What's up? Our neighbour, Mrs Hoffman. She keeps wanting me to walk a dog. She even offers to pay. <sighs> pay? Stop complaining. At least someone wants to give you a job. Yeah, but you're so busy, aren't you, Emma? Wouldn't it be great if you had a friend that could help you out? Maybe someone who was short of money? Like me. But what would you think of me walking a dog instead of you? Maybe we won't tell her just yet. <laughs> now, don't forget. Feeders is a pedigree. His great-great-grandfather was a grand champion of the Hamburg Dog Show. Isn't that right, Feeders? Really? So I want no frolicking with other dogs. Is that clear? Yes, Mrs. Hoffman. And don't walk him too fast. He gets tired easily. Not too fast. Got it. And here is his water and his bowl. Feeders only drinks natural spring water. Isn't that right, Feeders? Only natural spring water. Very good, Mrs. Hoffman. So thank you for walking him, Emma. <laughs> I wouldn't trust anyone else but you. As a matter of fact, I do have a friend who's very good with dogs. Let's not worry about your friend now. Fides is with you, and that's all that matters. Okay. Hey. Allie, meet Fides. Fides, meet Allie. Hey, Fides, how are you going? Oh, isn't he cute? I'm more of a cat person myself. <laughs> now, remember, Mrs. Hoffman is very fussy. She loves Fetus like a baby. Maybe more than a baby. Ah, we'll be fine, won't we, Fetus? Everything you need is in here. Water bottle, dog treats, and plastic bags. Plastic bags? Yeah, for picking up the you-know-what. Ew, too much information. Good luck. I'll meet you back here in one hour. Wait, where are you going? To start preparing my speech on Singapore. Don't worry, you'll be fine with Fetus. Me? Why do I have to stay too? As a backup for Ali. Just in case. Call me if there's an emergency, but only if there's an emergency. <laughs> How good is this? I'm getting paid to come to Hamburg to go for a walk on a beautiful day like today. Well, I'm glad one of us is getting paid. Look on the bright side. At least you're not home doing homework. That's what I'm worried about. I've got a Cantonese assignment to do. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Hamburg dog walking service. Looking for staff. Maybe I could turn dog walking into a full-time job? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what do you think, Fetus? Do you want to go for a run? Wait, Ali, remember what Emma said about Mrs. Hoffman? This dog is like a baby to her. Ah, he just wants to play. Yeah. Come on, Fetus. 
Good boy! <laughs> Jackie! Nicholas! What's she doing here? Uh, she was just heading off to do her homework, weren't you, Jack? Homework? Who cares about homework? Right, Ali? Whatever you say. No, we were just hanging. Maybe I could hang with you, if that's OK. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. That's for you. There you are. One hour's dog walking money. Oh, excellent. She asked if I wanted to walk Fetus after school for the coming month until a regular dog walker comes back. She did. And what did you say? I said I'd think about it. What? Emma? Ali, she said after school. Remember the time difference? Four o'clock in the afternoon is like one o'clock in the morning in Australia. She's right. Please, Emma. I want this job. I need this job. If I can do this for the next month, I can pay my phone bill for the next year. And I don't mind helping out from time to time. <sighs> OK. Looks like you've got a dog walking job. Go on, walk the line, because it's worth the fight. So it just must be right to keep the drums alive. Time to go home. How's the study going for your Mandarin test? Huh? Oh, fine. Look, I know you're a total brainiac, Jack, but um, Mandarin's hard enough without the book being upside down. What? I don't think he's showing today. Who? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Nicholas. Please, Ali, just five more minutes. You really are desperate. No. He just really is cute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you'll see him again. What you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do, yeah! <laughs> yesterday and she thinks we need some more spark to our free from dancing. <laughs> Any suggestions? She gave me a DVD she wants us to watch. It might give us some ideas. Hey, Ali. Hey, guys. Are you okay? You look exhausted. Thanks. Nice to see you too. No, really. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Absolutely. Michelle gave me a DVD she wants us to watch. Okay. Right. So, I haven't seen Nicholas in the park lately. Really? Just because I had seen him once or twice when I was helping Ali with fetus. I've been wondering how a cat person like you turned into a dog person overnight. So have you seen him? Yes, and he's been asking about you. What did he say? He said his dance class is doing a performance for Project Week and would you like to come? He did? What did you say? I said you'd love to and he'll text you later. <laughs> Ali, did you hear that? Ali? Ali! Good boy, fetus. Good boy. Yeah. Ali! Oh, sorry, guys. This no sleep thing is really starting to get to me. Well, maybe that's because you're pushing yourself too hard. But I need the money. If 
If I don't have my phone, I can't use the chat room. Well, what's the point of having the chat room if you're working so hard you're too tired to dance? I know, you're right. You need to find a way to work smarter, not harder. <sighs> come on, come on. What's keeping you? About time. Sorry we're late. She's getting ready for a date with Nicholas. It's not a date. I'm just going to see him dance. Yeah, right. All right, let's go. I've got to pick up Peters, and I've got to be back at my school in 20 minutes. <laughs> now, Mrs. Hoffman said for me, I mean you, to be extra careful with Peters today. He's just been washed and shampooed. He doesn't look any different to me. He smells different, like my grandma's perfume. Whatever. The thing is, you have to get him back smelling as sweet as when he left. Just don't let him roll in anything. <laughs> Gotta run. Good luck with your presentation. And good luck with your non-day. I'd better get going too. Okay, have a great time. I will. Do I look okay? I mean, like, really okay. You look so hot you could stop traffic. Thanks. Hello, uh, Hamburg Dog Walking Service? Uh, my name's Ellie Henson. Hey, Emma. Hey, Veronica. Some friends and I have planned to go to the movies this afternoon. So? So, we can't now because we have to be here watching you? Right. <laughs> this presentation had better be good. <laughs> Great. No pressure, just what I need. worried you got lost. I didn't miss your performance, did I? No, no. I'm on in a while. Just promise you won't laugh. Why would I laugh? You're such an awesome dancer. <laughs> you might think my stuff's kind of average. Don't worry. I think you're pretty hot. I mean, a pretty hot dancer. <laughs> Come on. I'll show you around. Now, I am the leader of this pack, so what I say goes. Hi. Next up, Heinz Park. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to a special Project Week presentation. For the past two years, Emma Schubert has been living in Singapore, and today she'll be presenting a talk about life in that wonderful city. Emma? Thanks. The island country of Singapore is not only the smallest nation in Southeast Asia, but it's also one of the only three true city states remaining in the world. It's also home to some great food, pretty cool shopping, and some hot dancing. Sorry guys, no stick or ball chasing today. Everyone stays on the leash. I'm getting paid per dog to walk you lot, so we all stick together. I am so tired. Okay, dogs, leader of the pack, Ali says. We take a five minute break. Come on. You sit, me, rest. Sit. Good dogs. Right. We'll just have a rest for a moment, okay?
You're kidding, but how... Ali! What? But Nicholas is just about to go on. Okay, I'll meet you there. So, in conclusion, I'd like to say that my time in Singapore has really helped open my eyes. It's been great to experience another culture firsthand, and I go back there tomorrow if I could. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for listening. Well, thank you for a fascinating presentation, Emma. Um, next, we might take some questions from the audience. Emergency? So, what kind of emergency? If anyone has anything they'd like to ask Emma about her time in Singapore? Anyone? Fetus? Where's Fetus? I'm sure Emma is only too happy to answer your questions. Yes, Veronica. Where's the best place to get Singapore chili crab? What? Emma? Oh! Um. <laughs> Emma, are you alright? Yeah, it's just late onset. Singapore chili crab food poisoning. What? Sorry, I've got to go. I mean, I've really got to go. Uh, of course. Sorry, I'll be right back. I mean, in a while or longer. Ali, where's Fetus? What's going on? And what are you doing with all these dogs? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Well, it better be a good one. I just walked out on Nicholas because of you. Uh. What are you doing with all these dogs? Uh, I thought if I could make money walking one dog, I could make four times the amount by walking four dogs. The Hamburg Dog Walking Service. But where's Fetus? I, I was just so tired. I must have nodded off for just a second. Ali! He ran away. Uh, but I tried to catch him. But how could you be so... Dumb, stupid, greedy, irresponsible. <laughs> yeah, and that too. I was just so worried. I knew that if Dad took my phone away from me, we could never dance together again. That's the only reason I did all this. It's all right. If we were in your situation, we would have probably done the same thing. Except for the really dumb bits. Look, I'm sorry about Nicholas. And I'm sorry about your presentation, but I have to find Fetus. And I can't do it without your help. OK, where did you see Mars? He was running this way, but he was running so fast he could be in Switzerland by now. So what's the plan? We could split up and take a dog each? Sorry, I am a cat person, remember? I only like dogs when they mean I get to see Nicholas, who is never going to speak to me again. Well, maybe we should split up. We'll cover more ground that way. But we don't even know which way he went. It'll be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah, and I need that needle, I mean, fetus, to be home in 15 minutes. No! <sighs> Hi. Excuse me, I don't suppose you've seen a runaway dog? Not some little fluffy thing still on its leash? That's him. That's Fetus. Yeah, he ran right out in front of me. I had to swerve to miss him and ended up hitting the tree. Look at my wheel. It was a brand new bike. Did you see which way he went? No idea. Uh, look, we're gonna have to split up. These mutts away from me. One pest a day is enough. Uh, excuse me, that pest wouldn't have happened to be a cute little dog by any chance. Stupid thing. Ran right under my feet as I was unloading these crates. Don't worry, I'll be back later to pay for the damage. <laughs> Fetus! Ah, here, boy! Fetus! Ah, Fetus! No use, he's gone. I can't find him anywhere. Well, I have to take these other dogs back to the dog walking service. What are we going to tell Mrs. Hoffman? We'll just have to tell her the truth. That you lost him. Me? Well, I wasn't even meant to be walking in. It was your idea. I was just trying to help. Whoa, settle down, you two. We'll take these other dogs back first, and then we should tell Mrs. Hoffman the truth. The real truth. Hello, Emma. 
Hi, Mrs. Hoffman. I'm afraid we've got some bad news. Fetus? Where's Fetus? Well, you see, it's like this. <coughs> Fetus! Fetus? <coughs> Oh, Fetus, where have you been? What have you rolled in? Uh, if this is how you take care of my Fetus, then you can forget about ever walking him again. <laughs> what a day. What a disaster. Hey, look on the positive side. At least it was just an ordinary average disaster. Could have been a major mega disaster if you guys weren't there to help me. That's what friends are for. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry about everything. Like ruining your date with Nicholas and your presentation for school. Who cares about school? I care about Nicholas. Don't worry. When I see him, I'll explain. I'm sorry about fetus. But you can still walk those other dogs. No, that's it for me. No more dog walking. I'm just too exhausted. But how are you going to pay your phone bill? Maybe I could lend you the money. Oh, thanks, Jackie, but that wouldn't be right. Don't worry. I'll think of something. I always do. Whatever you do, don't give up. No way, Jose. Say All right. Morning. Oh, morning, darling. Morning, sweetie. Um, we've been looking at your phone bill again, Ellie. I know, it's bad, isn't it? No, we, we noticed that all of the calls are to the same two mobile phones. Yeah, Jackie and Emma. They are my best friends. Yeah, we know yeah. that. And believe me, we are not out to make your life miserable. We just wish there was some way we could make the calls cheaper. What about a flat rate plan? Pardon? Damo, what'd you say? A flat rate plan. Like this one. It'd cut that bill by heaps. Although, the way Ali talks, it'd probably still cost a small fortune. He's right. And I could probably pay for it myself. Probably. Just. Hold on, not, not so fast. Your dad and I have been talking and there are a lot of jobs that you do around here. So maybe we can come to an arrangement. You mean? We'll put extra money towards your phone bill, within reason. If Damo can come up with a cheap plan, who knows, we might end up paying the whole lot. You will? Thank you. Damo, can I see that? Uh-uh. I think you owe me for this one. What? Well, if you don't want it. All right, all right, I owe you. Big time. And don't you forget it. Oh, can't wait to talk again. Uh, sorry, what was that? Uh, I mean, after I switched to my new plan. Of course. 